But you know, you've heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It gives you energy and helps you focus at work and school. Here to talk more about the subject is Dr. Paula Walker King. Welcome. Good morning, Chad. You brought some examples. First, tell me why it's so important. First, listen, breakfast kickstarts the metabolism, and literally it allows us to burn calories more efficiently throughout the day. And so it gets the body going. We've literally been fasting all night, so we got to break the fast mm -hmm. in order to get the metabolism go going. Does it matter what time you have breakfast? You really should eat breakfast within two hours of waking. And mm -hmm. so, you know, a lot of us, you know, we, we fast all night, we'll go until noon, or sometimes later, and it's like driving a car on fumes, literally, and it does have an impact on the metabolism. You brought some examples. Explain what, uh, what they do. These are some healthy examples of mm -hmm. what breakfast can look like. A whole grain cereal, such as Cheerios mm -hmm. with uh, milk, uh, is a great breakfast, quick and convenient. Uh, oatmeal, I love it uh, because it's high in fiber, uh, but you can also add other nutrients. And so I usually will um, splash a few blueberries, sure. slice up some strawberries, and uh, increase the nutrient value of my oatmeal. Speaking of fruit. Speaking of fruit. I mean, it's a great standby. Um, so just, you know, a fruit salad. Um, you may have a slice of toast with it. You can also uh, choose a Greek uh, yogurt, mm -hmm. uh, parfait. Uh, Greek yogurt has twice as much protein as regular yogurt and half the sugars uh, that uh, regular yogurt tends to have. And so all of these are great examples of, of breakfast items that, you know, will help increase the glucose because glucose is an important carbohydrate that our brains need to function. So children going to school, they have a better attention span when they eat breakfast. They tend to be better behaved. And then we as adults, we have better overall cognitive functioning and our mood tends to be better when we eat I breakfast. I was just going to ask what happens if you don't, but you just explained. Yeah. That's what happens if you don't have breakfast. Yeah. Uh, good advice. Thank you as always. You're welcome. Dr. Paula Walker-King. Hey, it's time for the birthdays now. Yep.